The evening has finally arrived. Local Heroes Series 1 is finally here and we're very excited about sharing this evening with you. The stories of great hardship, courage and perseverance. It would be a long day for many school children after having done all their early morning chores. They would then either catch the horse and ride to school or walk and many times maybe barefooted. You will hear of the hardships of the war years um, when all the men were had gone off to war and the women had to do a lot more work. The risks that railway workers took during those years. The life at Yeoman's Mill for instance back in the 1920s up until late 1950s living down on, on the cold flat next to the Makarora River with minus 18 degree forests. How a family in Onga built their own log cabin over five years. The daughter of Rona Fletcher who wrote Pendle Hill and its people. She tells her, her story and memories of her mother. Nairi talks about her early days at Pendle Hill growing up going to school and work chores that she had to do before going to school. Finally, I would like to take this opportunity of thanking Ian's wife Jill and my wife Debbie for putting up with our many hours of researching. They have um, just let us box on and get on with it. Also, all the people that for the night that helped set up the hall a big thank you to them and also to Simon Osborne for helping as far as sound and, and uh, projectionists go. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. stacked right up here watching one of our local concerts and the hall completely full. But anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll carry on. Um, these interviews have been carried out by Ian and myself over here on camera and we're very lucky to have with us Simon Osborne who's come with his projector and, and the sound. That's been a real great asset and it's going to add to tonight tremendously. So thanks so much Simon. Brilliant. Um, and our intentions are, if, if this goes 
well, and I'm sure it will because already we've had comments from previous interviews that we've done. It's just a way of recording the history um, rather than writing it down or having it, you can go and um, view it on YouTube from 9.30 tomorrow night on Onga TV. And, and it's also great, as I said before, to be back in, in this hall, um, this wonderful building. Uh, it's, it's had many events, farewelling soldiers to the Great War, and welcoming those that were able to make it back home. Just recently we had Anzac Day in here and um, it was quite fitting to be in the hall for, for that day. Um, and, and then we uh, obviously, all of this would be repeat, would be repeated for the Second World War. Dances were a regular event in the hall up until the 70s when dances became cabarets. 21st birthdays, many 21sts have been held here over the years. How many present tonight have had their 21st in this hall? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and mostly they were community events. Everyone knew everyone in the building. Concert, concerts were also a regular occurrence and the Ongar community had their their very own concert party with some hilarious characters. Some names I can remember with um, the late George Watts, Morris Reedy, Jim Meredith, Nancy Reedy, the Baker sisters Elaine and Marie, Ian McLeod, the Watts sisters Pam and Judy, and Phil King, to name just a few. The touring Great Benyon show with the incredible magician also performed here. And the famous radio and television show, It's in the Bag, hosted by Selwyn Tupu, was also recorded here. I can remember Calvinator washing machines being one up on that stage. And, um, and Robert Buchanan was telling me the other day that he used to, he was very good friends of Ken Twist, who owned the store in the of the time and also had a, had a school bus run. And so he more than likely uh, stayed with Ken. We played table tennis, indoor bowls, and 500 card evenings out in the supper room. So there's a few memories for you, if only these walls could talk. So let's get on with this evening of storytelling and true lies. Just before we do, let me introduce our celebrities. And I won't ask you to stand up. I know you're all comfortable in your seats, but if you can just raise your hand and um, people will know where you are. And try and catch up with these folk later on. So we've got Rachel Hornblade, now Bibby over here, look at her, 93 inches. <laughs> so Rachel, up until just recently, was caretaker of our pioneer hut that her dad um, built up there from um, timber source from some of the original huts up around the, the hills. So it's great to have you here tonight, Rachel. Uh, Robin Mackey over here as well. Robin. <laughs> A real local identity in, in, in farm just down on, um, what do they call it now? Herrick Street, Taylor Road. Uh, Dick Shaper, where's old Dick over here? You'll enjoy Dick's son. Um, <laughs> Dick's been a long time on the railway, so he's got some real stories to tell that I'm sure you'll enjoy. Nairi Nash, Nairi Nairi was a, a, a member of the last family to ever live permanently at Pendle Hill. <laughs> and Cassandra, where's Cassandra Buchanan over here? Yeah. <laughs> the lovely Rhoda Davidson's daughter who, who offered so much to Mongonga and um, Central Hawks Bay history with her two books. Uh, Pauline's not able to, Pauline Mack is not able to be here to, Tonight she's been unwell and unfortunately she can't be here so our thoughts go back to her and hopefully when she's up and about she'll be able to um, watch it on, on YouTube. And Margaret, have you got Margaret? And then we come down to our, our 
two couples to Peter and Shirley Rayner up the front here. Can... <laughs> Shirley, Nate, Yeoman and Peter spent a lot of time up at Macarora in the, in the days of the mill and so they've got some good stories to tell us as well. And lastly but not least, Greg and Ann Crater. Having our ownership, the historical society, the Coles factory that we're um, is not far away from being completed, and um, that, that's going to be a great feat. So that's something to look forward to. Hey, I'm, I've gone on long enough. We want to get on with this and enjoy. And of course, in those days, some of the bullshit was going to be used on the can be really nervous when they're talking, so I think we did really well on that. Okay, and how many people do you think came tonight? Um, well, we had about like 60 tickets left at the end, and there was 420, uh, 240. So I think overall at least 150 people came. Probably I really enjoyed all the ones I did get to watch because then I had to come out here and help in the kitchen. But my favourite one was probably Dick's because it made me laugh a lot, especially part when he said kind of along the lines of when he was in the army, I think it was, and he goes, and then the car just goes, Vroom! and it was really funny. And it was probably my favourite part. Yeah, I really enjoyed Dick's. Probably Dick's as well when he... I didn't really understand most of them, but it was the same with... And saying like when he was in the army and he just went, it was zoom and it was, yeah. Anyway, all in our battle dress jackets, middle of summer, they carted us in the army truck from Wairu and deposited two of us on every little bridge up, up the desert road. And then we had to <laughs> salute the Queen Mother when the cavalcade came through. Anyway, we were there all day, and when she did come through, it was just, she just came, the, oh, there's the coming, coming through, up there, we were saluting, and the car just went, boom, straight past us, not even a toot away or anything. It's really funny. <laughs> Same as the girls, my favourite part was next, <laughs> when he was in the army, <laughs> and the car just went, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Mine probably would be my pop's brother's one because it, when he said he got kicked off the bus quite a few times, oh, yeah. I found yeah. that quite funny. Yeah. Yeah. There's also a story of um, oh, one of them, one of the bus drivers kicking a couple of boys off at Rua Tanner. Uh, yeah, no, that wasn't me. I was just going to ask, <laughs> is that, was that you? Yeah. No, it was. Yeah, no. <laughs> We got kicked off at Red <laughs> Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah, Oh, yeah, was yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, tell the, me the story. The swamp, <laughs> swamp Road, Swamp Road corner down there. We got, I forget what we got put off for. Um, something trivial. 